Hi, good evening, everyone. So we will continue with uh, the public finance. And today I'm going to go ahead and talk about. So we have already seen the Wagner's view on public expenditure. And today we will go ahead and talk about the Peacock uh, hypothesis, right? So please write this down, beta. We're going to talk about the Wiseman Peacock hypothesis okay so the Weisman peacock hypothesis this was actually um it, it's, a, it's a hypothesis on public expenditure okay kaise public expenditure hoga government kaise kharcha karegi is cheez ke upar hi ye hypothesis hai and um, this was given by two economists who were british economists so please write down that this hypothesis was given by british economist whose name were Jack Wiseman and Alan T. Peacock. Peacock. So these two economics, uh, Jack Wiseman and Alan, P., uh, Alan T. Peacock, they actually uh, put forward this theory of uh, uh, Alan uh, Peacock hypothesis. And this is Basically, a thesis on the public expenditure. Kaise government kharcha karegi, uske upar ye hypothesis hai. So, this is a thesis on the growth of public expenditure. How public expenditure will be conducted? This is what this hypothesis is about. Okay, ji. Achha, to isme, what they did is, this. they had this study done. Uh, this study was, uh, the study on public expenditure. This was done in UK and it was done from a period of 1890 to 1955. In this period, this hypothesis was run in the UK and what did they So they found out, let's understand, they found out that public expenditure does not increase in a smooth manner but in a jerk or a or a step like manner so matlab jo if i take time here and if i take the expenditure of the government here then it will not be smooth aisa nahi increase hoga this will not happen it will increase in a jerk like fashion something like this it will increase then stop it will increase then stop so it is going to be a stepwise uh, fashion that is going to be followed. Yehi puri hypothesis hai bas. So please write down the main thesis of the authors is that public expenditure does not increase. in a smooth and continuous manner. So public expenditure smooth or continuous manner may increase nahi hota. It does not just keep increasing continuously. Rather, it increases in jerks or step-like fashion. So instead, it increases. in jerks or step-like fashion, right? So let me give you an example. Uske baad hum ki baat karenge. Just take an example of COVID-19. During COVID-19, all of a sudden, the government had to interrupt. Take a Ekdam disturbance aagai thi. And when there was a period of COVID-19, a lot of people did not have job. So the government had to come in to provide food to these people. Right. And that is when the government increased its expenditure. Agar COVID-19 mein logo ke pas khana nahi tha, tab government ne aakar kharcha badhaya aur logo ko ye khana provide kiya, ya job facility provide ki, etc. Thik hai. 
सो ड्यूरिंग इनका इनका कहना यह है दैट ड्यूरिंग सोशल डिस्टर्बेंस जैसे यहाँ पे गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग सेम एक्सपेंडिचर थ्रू आउट एक पीरियड के लिए बट एकदम से देर इज अ सोशल डिस्टर्बेंस और एनी अदर डिस्टर्बेंस दैट टेक्स प्लेस सो ड्यूरिंग द डिस्टर्बेंस गवर्नमेंट विल इंक्रीज इट्स एक्सपेंडिचर सो प्लीज राइट डाउन दैट एट द टाइम ऑफ सोशल डिस्टर्बेंस or any other disturbance government will increase public expenditure so whenever there will be any uh, disturbance द गवर्नमेंट विल इंक्रीज इट एक्सपेंडिचर अच्छा आप सोचो अगर मेरे को एक्सपेंडिचर बढ़ाना है इफ आई वॉन्ट टू स्पेंड मोर इन द इकोनॉमी आई नीड रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम इट फॉर इट अगर मेरे पास पैसा होगा ही नहीं एज अ गवर्नमेंट इफ आई डू नॉट हैव मनी देन हाउ विल आई स्पेंड मनी सो देर फोर इन ऑर्डर टू गो अड एंड इन ऑर्डर टू स्पेंड मनी आई मस्ट हैव मनी there must not be any revenue constraint so what the government will do is it will replace low tax low expenditure policy with high tax high expenditure policy the government will replace low tax low expenditure policy with high tax high expenditure policy so please write down while earlier due to an insufficient pressure for public expenditure पहले जरूरत नहीं थी ज्यादा खर्चा करने की तो पहले रेवेन्यू भी कम था द गवर्नमेंट हैड लिमिटेड रेवेन्यू कलेक्शन नाउ चेंजेस वुड बी रिक्वायर्ड to increase the revenue collection to meet increased expenditure bhai expenditure badh raha hai na during covid 19 zyada logo ko mere ko food provide karna hai subsidies provide karni hai to in sab ke liye i cannot have revenue deficiency i need to go ahead and i need to increase my revenue also and that revenue i can only go ahead and increase if i start collecting more taxes so the next thing that i now need to do is to have more taxes being collected so this is what the wise man peacock hypothesis is about it says if you want to go ahead and collect more uh, do more expenditure you should also be increasing more revenue now this hypothesis beta this has three aspects to it so please write this down according to them one second yeah according to them there are three effects in this model to beta teen effect hai jo hum padhenge sabse pehla effect jo hum padhenge that is actually called please write down three separate effects or three separate concepts that we want to study so the first concept that is known as displacement effect displacement effect kya kehta hai ki jab bhi koi bhi social event hoga jaise war like other emergencies you will go ahead and you will be forced to displace you will be forced to displace low expenditure with high expenditure 
and when you will go ahead and you will displace low expenditure with high expenditure kam kharche ki jagah zyada kharcha karoge then you will also have to increase the amount of revenue you will have to collect more taxes bahut simple hai jo humne upar padha wahi hai so please write this down that steps like increasing displacement effect kehta that you have to increase public expenditure why due to events like war covid and other emergencies during any emergency you will have to increase public expenditure right and if you are increasing public expenditure then you have to increase tax rate also so please write down tax rates are increased to get more revenue in this situation beta ye ho gaya first effect this is called displacement effect write down the second effect the second effect that takes place during this period that is called as the tax tolerance and inspection effect very important beta we have increased tax right say during covid 19 i increased tax rate right now say covid 19 is over or a war is over but people have accepted higher tax rate they have accepted higher tax burden even when the war is over so that tax tolerance is now there in people people are ready to pay higher taxes even when the governments you know even when that war situation is over right so which means that people have accepted a new level of tax tolerance now the government does not want to do more expenditure wo wala period is gone the government but will not reduce the tax because people are ready to pay a higher tax rate are you getting it so please write down when people accept the expanded tax burden after war that is called tax tolerance so people are now ready to go ahead and to pay higher taxes unka utna expand ho chuka hai right so please write down they are now ready to tolerate to tolerate greater tax burden and as a result the general level of expenditure and revenue can go up okay theek hai ab kya hua the third thing that we want to go ahead and understand in this please write down the third effect that takes place after this that is called beta the concentration effect so now what happens is tax to bad gaya zyada finances aa rahe hain bhai ab zyada agar finances aa hi rahe hain then the central government can go ahead and can take some major economic activities the the funds are concentrated in the hand of the central government the central government can use these funds in the right direction the central government can go ahead 
and can use these funds to um to go ahead and do some better activities right to go ahead and maybe increase education level increase health level of people etc right so please write down that the concentration the displacement and increasing tax tolerance lead to greater concentration of revenue with the government and thereby greater concentration of economic activities in the hands of the government so the government now has more money has more uh, concentration of the gdp with itself and the government can now use this money for uh, you know for going ahead and faster development of the economy but this entire study was done in uk right but as a result of uh, this we saw that it can also be applied to other countries right so please write down one last line here since each major disturbance leads to the government assuming a larger portion of total national economic activity beta jabhi bhi koi bhi disturbance aayegi samjho ek bari baat ko whenever there is any disturbance her disturbance ke baad there will be displacement effect then there will be tax tolerance and inspection effect then there will be concentration effect so whenever there is any econo any disturbance all these three effects will take place and her and finally what will happen is that the government will have more power with itself it will have more economic uh, uh, funding with itself because it would have collected more taxes right so therefore the government would have um, more money and it will have a larger proportion of the total national uh, economic activity right the net result will be concentration effect right concentration effect also means that the central government will grow its economic activities faster than state and local governments ye baat bhi samajhne wali hai we are we are saying that because central government is getting all the money the central government is going to grow its economic activities much faster than the other government so but this is all about your weisman peacock hypothesis it usually comes in exam as a small part but you should know kuch hi points hain ye samajh lo ki what is the hypothesis that the expenditure will grow in a step wise fashion and then just understand the three effects displacement effect tax tolerance and concentration effect okay. thank you